So this is the ET2, the second version of the Easy Transport Cradle, and you'll notice the biggest difference is that there are three slots at the top and three slots at the bottom. Additionally, there is a crotch slot that allows us to use that fifth uh, point and Velcro to stabilize it. When placing the baby in any cradle, you want to make sure that you're getting the baby into a nice head tilt as you're placing the baby in. So you want to actually do a bit of a tip down to open the airway. And of course you're going to listen and make sure that it's in place. Right now I'm going to show you how to apply the safety straps for transport. There is an arrow on the sewn portion where they cross and that arrow faces the baby's head, points to the baby's head. In the ET2 version, you'll use the two outside strap slots. And then you'll adjust it to the size of your baby that you're transporting. You'll want this cross to be about half an inch to an inch below the baby's chin. And then you'll place the additional straps, the lay straps, so that the strapping system will cross the baby's hips. Securing the arms in is a good idea, but not mandatory. Because we have the crotch slot, we're going to additionally put this strap in before we secure the hip straps. With this in place, we can tip the baby and the cradle over and apply this strap to the Velcro on the back. This actually creates a very secure seating for the baby and allows you to transport while maintaining an open airway and maintaining safety for the baby in transport. When you're in the process of removing the baby, once you get to the hospital, you simply remove the crotch strap, undo the hip strap, and just remove this, loosen the side that's on the left side of the baby, and you can remove the baby quite easily.